Hey guys, Nick here from Racenshi Health and Fitness, back again with another episode of The Training Log. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
here we are again, so <clears throat> struggling to make the reps with that last sit. So now I've got to lower the weights down. Here's these fuckers again. Take the plate off. Screw it back on. We're gonna do that four more times. Just to lower the weight one increment. It's a real pain in the ass. Don't get these spin lock ones, they suck.
There you have it, just a quick blast. Um, smashed it out. It's getting easier, getting easier and easier. I found, particularly with the front squats, um, I haven't really done a lot of front squats in the past, but um, you know, you're supposed to do it with your hands holding it like this and the elbows forward. I'm very limited in my flexibility here, so that's very difficult. So I just cross my hands over and hold it like that. Um, but I found that that was a bit painful on the uh, front of the shoulders, front of the shoulders across here, across the top of the chest as well. Um, which I guess is pretty normal when you've got a bar with weight sitting on you that you're in a place where you're not used to having it there. But that's getting easier and easier, so that's good. Um, I was, found it a lot more comfortable today. Um, them spin lock dumbbells. God, I can't stress how much I dislike spin lock bloody things. They really upset your flow, upset your rhythm. Um, as you saw towards the end there, doing the single arm rows, that first weight was too easy, so I would have had to spin it, change it, couldn't be stuffed. Just try the new kettlebell, 20 kilos, did the job. Um, end of the workout, last set, I didn't want to be sitting there playing with bloody spin locks. What a waste of time. Um, anyway, that's it, short and sweet today, guys. Uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe up here. See you next time.